Good morning, everyone. I am back. So today we are talking about monitoring. And monitoring is when they have the two bands around your stomach and um, one is to track your baby's heartbeat and one is to track your contractions. And if you haven't been following along, what I'm doing is each day going through one line of the birth decisions list that I do in my prenatals and we're breaking it down. So why is this important? Um, it's important because <laughs> it can become quite distracting to have these bands around your stomach. And what we would like to ask for going into a hospital, if everything is good and you're unmedicated, is to have intermittent monitoring, which means you are able to take them off, these bands. Now, why do you wanna take them off? You're like, it's my baby's heartbeat, I wanna know. The thing is, they can be quite cumbersome. Um, you're trying to labor and get in your zone and you have these um, bands around you that become the focus of the room. You know, it's all about just the baby's heartbeat and just your contractions. And you really wanna be able to get in your labor land, get in your zone, move freely. And when you also have these around you, you know, you're connected pretty much to your bed. And you are able to stand up and sway and those kind of things, but it's definitely hard to be as free in your movement when you are wearing your monitoring um, devices. So some hospitals have ones that are um, without bands, but I have yet to encounter it. Um, the other thing is if you wanna get in the shower or the tub, it also becomes kind of a pain because uh, you know you can't just go when you decide. You have to call your nurse, you have to have them come in and take it off. And the other, the other thing that we sort of look at um, evidence-based wise is what is the benefit of having this monitoring on? And honestly, there's been so much research done that shows that there really is no benefit. Um, the benefit is for the hospital. So they have a way to track how they were taking care of you and the baby. Um, baby's heartbeat, you know, it does fluctuate normally in labor. The baby's in labor too. They're being squeezed, you know, they're going through things too. And so there has been evidence found that when we focus solely on these monitoring devices, that C-section risk, C-section um, goes up because it's almost like a fear-based decision um, comes along with the obsession of these monitors. Um, we've got some people mowing the lawn, so I'm gonna turn off and come back when they're done. Okay, so what I want you to be aware of is that you do have a choice to take off your monitoring devices. And again, this is unmedicated. Um, I want you to feel empowered to do as you feel if you are laboring and you are uncomfortable. Um, I want you to feel empowered to call your nurse and have them taken off. The standard is 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off. But you know, if you are feeling otherwise, <laughs> feel brave and confident enough in being able to ask your nurse or tell your nurse, tell your nurse that you wanna take off your um, monitoring bands. Um, so just another thing to keep in mind when you're going into a hospital birth, I don't want you to be intimidated. I want you to feel educated and I want you to know that you are able to make your own decisions. So if you have any questions, DM me and we can talk more about it. Again, another great resource is evidence, evidencebasedbirth.com, especially for my, um, you know, skeptical <laughs> mamas out there. Um, this shows a great article specifically about monitoring and um, the risk benefits reward. So check that out. And I hope everyone's having a great Monday. We're going back to school this week. Pray for us all. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys.